Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. If you are new to the channel, welcome to the channel. My name is Helen, and today we're about to get into this fall delicious fibrous juice. All right, so if you are not subscribed, I suggest you subscribe. It's fall, so it's time for all things baking, soups, casseroles, and delicious drinks, okay? Whether it's smoothies or juice, we're about to get into this thing. Now, here's the deal. I shared a real and on my Instagram, I'll put it here as well as a short here on YouTube. I know a lot of people who are watching shorts don't really watch like videos and then vice versa. So I thought I'd come over here and share with you the recipe that I kind of whipped up on yesterday. Y'all, it was so good. I couldn't wait to make it again. All right. So this is what I did. I went out to Aldi this morning because there's two things I'll be making. I will be doing ginger shots because um, the ginger shots we made last week for the kids as well as myself, gone. It's time to re-up on the shots and I just used pineapple for the ginger shots. They had them on sale for $1.59 in Aldi's and as well as ginger. So you know that I like to soak my ginger because of the sprays they spray on our ginger. I like to soak it first before I scrape it clean, um, before juicing it because the spray they spray is basically for stopping it from sprouting. And I just don't want that in my juice. So I kind of like, like to scrape mine and clean it up real good. And then the jars I will be using are these little bitty two ounce jars. You can get these from Amazon. I believe they ship same day or next day or something like that. Really cheap. I'm not sure how many come in a pack. Maybe it's 12 or more. It might be 12 or more. I don't, I don't even remember. Maybe it's 16. I'll link it down below. It's in my Amazon store for sure. But I like to use those because they're easy just to throw back real quick and drink in the morning before you head out the door. Temperatures are changing. We are heading into cooler temps in the morning, even though it does heat up for us here in Texas. And by afternoon, it's still it's just the up and down weather that normally will take you from allergies to sinus to infections. So we try to stop all that. OK, we try to block that by just keeping our immune system built up. And um, yeah, what better way to do it than pineapple and ginger? So we'll be doing those. And then we will do that after we do this blend right here. So yesterday I showed with you all, shared with you all that I was juicing sweet potatoes. Yes, friends, sweet potatoes. So all these always have these bags for like 250, 260 or whatever. So I just picked up a bag and they are these smaller sweet potatoes. They're not your huge chunky ones. So for the recipe I made yesterday, I basically did one sweet potato with three small apples and two pears. Today, the recipe is going to be a little bit different because I just went and bought another bag and I'm going to do basically all this, but I would say about one either large sweet potato or two to three of these little small ones to get you a big size, two to three small apples, depends on how small your apples are. And then Right now, Aldi still have these pears on sale. The three pound bag, I think is 250 or 260. So I just been using these pears. Now with this recipe, I also added cinnamon to give it that extra. Mm. So I'm gonna do cinnamon for two of my jars and like my, basically my third jar, I'm gonna do a pumpkin spice to see what it tastes like. So let's go ahead and get started on this first recipe. I'll just juice it separate so you can see what it looks like and how much it produces when I want to make one juice. And then the rest of this, I'll just juice it together, mix it and do like I normally do with my jars so you can see. So I do have these clean sweet potatoes and I have enough to do, I'm sure three jars. I did not soak the sweet potatoes or anything like that. I basically just washed them. I use my scrubbing brush that I use when I scrub my veggies or whatever. And that's it. So I'm going to take about um, two handfuls of these sweet potatoes and drop them in first. And then we're going to go ahead and drop three apples in. I'm going to go ahead and slice the apples down the middle to take the seed out because I've been eating a lot of apples and I don't want no problems with these seeds, honey. You know, everybody got their own thing when it comes to these apples. But yeah, I know sometimes, you know, the seeds aren't really good for you or whatever, but mm, Depends on how much of it you're eating, I would think. But anyway, this is a very fibrous meal. I put how much fibers in one apple, how much fibers in the sweet potato, as well as other benefits here on the screen so you can see and check it out for yourself. So if you're looking for something for gut health, get back on track. You you like sweets, right? You like me. You like uh, like I like sweets, but not like that. I like sweets during fall and I like the more cozy sweets like banana bread and zucchini bread. Like I like 
like those warm breads that you would eat like with tea or coffee. So I was trying to find something that would like uh, suffice. Like, you know, what can I do? Like apple cider, you know, we came up with the other recipe from about a week or so ago, but something sweet and reminds me of like cobblers or pumpkin pies or pumpkin bread. And this right here was so good that I was like, yeah, I could do this. And this would kind of like, you know, take away that craving of pumpkin bread around this time of year for me. So I'm going to go ahead and just put everything in here. So, so far we have um, two of the sweet potatoes. We have three small apples. We have one pear. And then this pear right here, I'm just going to feed through the chute as it goes. So I'm going to go ahead and start this up and let it do its thing. So I hope you all are doing well today. Last time we chat, we chatted about single life and dating and dating apps. It was interesting to see you all's um, take on it. Some people was like, yeah, I would never do a dating app. I'd just rather meet someone. And to me, it's the same thing. The same people that you would meet on the app are the same people as in the grocery store, at the gas station, at church or whatever. They're just on the app. <laughs> like me, I'm the same person you see here, but I also be on the app. Like there's not that much of a, yeah, I don't see the difference. Like, you know, people say, well, I wouldn't give them my phone number. Well, if you met them at a club, at the grocery store, at the gas station, would you give them your number? How would they get to know you? And then, you know, so I just feel like I don't see a big deal of giving someone my number when I have access to block you if I, you know, choose to. So, all right. So, so far, we have everything in here for our one drink. I have a pumpkin spice and a cinnamon. And this pump pumpkin spice, uh oh, this pumpkin spice is from Simply Organic. I'm going to sprinkle this into a jar before we even get the juice going here. Go ahead and release some of this juice. That looks amazing. And I'm just going to tap a little bit in here. I would say, you know, do it to your taste buds. I like pumpkin spice. So basically, it's probably like a, a fourth of a teaspoon. It's really not that much, but I love pumpkin spice. So I'm just going to let this thing go. Let it get everything out. And once it stops, I'll show you how much is in here. All right, so I am using, let me just go, go ahead and let it finish up. All right, so I am using the Nama J2 juicer. I do have a discount code for you all if you're interested in purchasing one yourself. If you go on the site, you'll see that there is options for making payments. So you don't have to purchase it flat out, straight out if you qualify or whatever. So you might want to try that. Look how much it made. Just, just that one recipe. I think it's going to be more than my jar here. I'm going to go ahead and fill it up so you can see. Oh, my God. Look how good this looks. I didn't even have to strain it twice. I'm going to add a little bit. There's a cone of ice in here. Let me let me pour this in another jar. Hold, let me get a close-up of this juice so y'all can see what this juice is looking like. Y'all know I love some ice. So, y'all see how thin that is? That's the foam. But, you know, I'm, I'm going I'm to drink that, too. So we're going to add a little pumpkin spice to this one since we didn't add any. We only added it to that jar. Just a little. Oh my God. Yeah, this is really good. I'm going to go ahead and make the rest and put it into a pitcher so I can pour it into separate jars. And... That'll be my juice for the next couple of days. I'm not going to lie. Um, sometimes I make juice and I make quite a bit. And I know people are thinking like, how can she drink all that? The kids will drink it if I don't. But sometimes juice is just that good. Like yesterday, all I had was juice, a smoothie and a small salad. Like juice is really that good and satisfying when you make the juice that your body like needs or whatever. Your body is usually like satisfied. That's why I tell people, you know, get on those sea moss pills because or sea moss capsules or the sea moss gel. And once you get on that, what it does is it helps to regulate like your metabolism, your thyroid and all that. Right. And it's giving your body the minerals that your body needs. So at the end of the day, 
you're satisfied. Like we're not craving some of the craziest things that we normally would crave because our body has the minerals and everything that is basically needs. So it's not craving anything extra, you know, out of the ordinary that we normally would crave. So it's interesting to see in combination, like drinking juice, eating healthy, eating a lot of fruits, girl, just the fruits. OK, in combination with sea moss, man, my body feels amazing. I feel so good, like energized. Very good. All right, let's get this sweet potato juice made and then we're gonna make the rest of this, the apples and all the pears. They do have cosmic apples on sale at Aldi right now and those are really good. I think they're one ain't out of bag. So y'all already know, I'm about to load up on these bags. After I make all this juice, I gotta go to the grocery store and prep. But I want to go ahead and do the juice first and then I'll go and prep all my food for the fridge and we'll do that together as well. So I wanted to show you what this looks like where it's just the juice from the sweet potato. So you don't think that the apple and the pear is making this juice. So we just filled the hopper up with just sweet potatoes, remember? And all this right here is from that. This is from the sweet potatoes. Just so you know, let me show you. And that was with four small sweet potatoes. I mean, it's still some in here, but this is like from four small ones. So you can see like, oh, okay, this is, it really does make juice. I'm going to go ahead and start adding some of these apples. Now this machine is always linked in my link tree. It is an affiliate link that will save you money on your machine. So if you want to save money on your machine, use the link for sure. And um, let me know what you think. I've had so many people email me and send me like pictures of their machines, send me pictures of the juices that they're making. So if you want to send me pictures, just email me and then we can add them into these videos and share them with everybody else if you're OK with that. I should have asked the people who sent me those video uh, pictures. They were OK. I would love to be tagged in your videos as well on Instagram. If you don't mind, please, I would love to do a collection video and like share with other people with juices you all are making because i know that like watermelon not in season anymore people are wondering well what do we juice now you know and i'm like well it's a lot in season you got apples you got grapes you got pears all these are really good fibrous um fruits that are still good for you that you can juice along with other like vegetables so if you want to do vegetable juice which i said the next video would be vegetable but y'all this was so good i had to share it to you share it with you all but I have two uh, vegetable recipes that I think if you're into veggies or you like anything that's like um, Bloody Mary's, you're going to like this one coming up. OK, so stay tuned. All right. So now that's all the apples in there. I have these pears. I'm going to start tossing in here inside the hopper. There is a hole at the top of the hopper, so you don't have to stop the machine to you know, drop any more in. You can just feed it. But if you do that, then you just need to cut it smaller pieces. That's why people like the hopper, because it's big enough just to drop and go for sure. Man, this is good. <laughs> I'm still up here like, should I just drink that one? I already had juice this morning, though. I had pear, apple and ginger. So that was so good. I'm still trying to drink the ginger pear and celery y'all it's just i don't know golly that celery is just so strong to me I, I just don't know what's going on with me and celery right now but i'm having a hard time and i've never had this hard time like drinking celery i eat it but i want the juice i do i want the juice of the celery in the morning especially before gym so this is so good i almost put this in my mouth um, the Penny's been eating these pears left and right, honey. Just make sure there's no more in here. That's the pear and apple. And yeah, so basically that is three pounds of pears. Um, I would say about a bag of apples because those are the, those are the small apples. Those weren't as big as the cosmic apples. 
And then we had some sweet potatoes. And I didn't even use the whole bag of sweet potatoes. So, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and jar these up. So when I'm ready for them, I can have them. Make sure you fill them to the top. You know, these will last about three days in your refrigerator. You don't want to allow too much room for anything to get in here air-wise. Yeah. So this basically made me, um, let's just say four jars and a little something, something for us to sip on while we are making juice today. Loving that for sure. Oh, these are so good. And all I have to do is shake them up when it's time to drink them because they have the, I'm missing the top, because they have the cinnamon in them. And one has the pumpkin spice. I bet this would be good with like nutmeg too. <laughs> I'm just doing too much, I know. That is so good. All right, so let's clean up this mess and let's get started on our ginger shot. So right now, here are our drinks for the next, I would say like two days. I'll have one for breakfast and maybe one for lunch or dinner or something i don't know but it's, they're really filling for me and i guess it's because of the sweet potato but i need to go ahead and put this to the side for the freezer and for the dog food all right so let's get started on our ginger shot so i have a bowl of ginger that's been soaking in water for a couple hours now and basically i'm just going to take a spoon and scrape off the skin of my ginger they're really clean they're really wet so they should juice really well and um yeah and then i'm gonna dump them into the hopper so let me get the skin off of here first and then we'll get started on juicing our shots for the week all right so that took a minute <laughs> that cleaning of the ginger honey it takes a minute so the ginger is in here it's ready to go we can now go ahead and prep for our pineapple. Now, I add pineapple to ginger shots. One, because it gives it extra liquid and, it, you know, stretches it a little bit. But it's not so strong. Like, the kids don't have to be like, ah, you know. And they'll actually take it if it's, you know, not as strong. Y'all have no idea. This smells so freaking good. And this is just the ginger. I'm telling you, juice so much better when you soak it in water for a couple hours it's softer you know i love ginger i know a lot of people use it in their um like for their belly button or whatever but i love ginger all right so we're almost done today with our juicing and by the way i haven't signed up on facebook dating yet i went and looked at it though i was like but facebook is already a date now <laughs> right and Instagram, like, are you serious? The DMs be crazy sometimes. But um, I'm interested in trying some of these other apps, so for fun. Figure why not? I mean, I don't know. Oh, that smells so good. Hot. That was a lot, right? Wow. That's a lot. And that smells amazing. So tell me, what do y'all have planned for the weekend? Y'all got any plans this weekend? Are you juicing, prepping your fridge? You hanging out? Uh, Astros game is tomorrow. So I'll be watching the Astros. I'm sure somewhere tonight is a homecoming dance for one of the girls. So I'll be doing makeup and all the fun things before the night is over. But uh, yeah, so yes, I went ahead and put this over a bowl so y'all don't freak out like y'all did last time <laughs> yeah i know last time i just was worn it and wasting it but we're not gonna waste it this time i promise so here are the jars like i said these jars come from amazon but um quick little two ounce shots i'm gonna go ahead and fill the rest of these up real quick and see how many I get out of here. I'll probably be able to fill 12 jars. And then what I'll do is the rest I'll just put in a big jar. So I can just have the 12 for the kids. And then for me, because it's three of them, that's four days, right? And then for me, I'll just have some for my jar, my own jar to just take shots from every day. 
I can just pour mine into a shot glass. I don't really have to have like this, but I know it's convenient and the kids will grab these if I already have them ready. They'll grab them. If I don't and they have to pour it themselves, they, they won't pour them. All right, now I know I said I added pineapple to here just to give it like some more volume and to cut like the sharpness of the um, ginger, but don't get me wrong. Just like ginger is good for inflammation, it's anti-inflammatory, just like it is good, great for digestion, so is pineapple. They're both low in calories and they both are highly beneficial. Pineapple also helps with metabolism. So if you're looking to boost your metabolism, boost your, um, boost your immunity because it's that time of year once again. Yeah, so this is 12 of the shot glasses. And then I also am going to just jar this up real quick. I have a smaller jar somewhere around here. I'll fill it up with, and then I'll be able to just pour me some shots throughout the morning. I'm just going to put it in my mini fridge where it's extra cold. So I don't have to worry about anything, but look how thick this is. <laughs> it's ginger strong. It's extremely strong. So yeah, this will be great. Now in the past, I used to take these shots and I would add a teaspoon of turmeric and like a pinch of black powder to each one. If you want to get more benefits out of like these shots, definitely add turmeric if you don't mind the taste and a pinch of pepper to each one to activate your turmeric. You can also buy turmeric just like you buy ginger and juice it in the machine as well. We'll do that together sh surely soon. But we prefer the taste of the pineapple with the ginger. And I found it very beneficial, especially if you have upset stomachs, anything going on. Like I tell you, Christopher was sick with that. I don't know if he ate some of what's going on. He would take a ginger shots daily. Like it just helps with um, that as well. And so it's just highly effective. And I think everybody should be consuming ginger. And I think all women should be consuming pineapple. That's just my thoughts. Okay. She's not a doctor. She just loves some pineapple. And I love the benefits of what it does for my body. Okay. I hope you enjoyed this video. I had to pour a little bit more in my glass. I'm probably just going to go get a jar when I'm done with this. And um, not only does it taste good. Listen, when it comes to sweet potatoes, they're really good for you. They are high in vitamin A. They're great for protecting your body against free radicals. And... The benefits of that in combination with apples that gives you the fiber that you need. If you're looking for natural fiber, you don't want to take like a fibrous powder or something. Um, I would suggest apples daily. This just helps you with smooth moving and it gets the fiber into your body that you need. Now, I know a lot of people would rather when it comes to juicing, there's this thing about organic, non-organic. I just say, get what you can afford and get the fruits in your body, right? Make sure you're washing your vegetables thoroughly. So if you don't have a machine like I have, just go ahead and get you some baking soda, water, a little bit of vinegar and clean your vegetables and let them soak for a little while to get that coating off. Because just about everything, like I told you all, and just me reading and trying to do a little bit of research, I suggest you do your own as well. I'm just finding their spraying appeal on a lot of these items and whether they're organic or not, stuff is just being sprayed. And I don't know what that stuff is. <laughs> so I just say, you know, I just rather get fruits and vegetables in my body. And some, like I say, it's organic, some is not. And I'm just loving the way I feel. I feel amazing. I feel good, energized, great for energy. Pineapples too, just so you know. If you're interested in Organic Sanctuary, make sure you check the link down below. It is in my link tree. There is a sale going on for October. I think it's October Fest or something like that. If you're interested in saving a, a little bit and just trying it out to see how it feels for your body, I say give it the whole 30 days and then come back and let me know what you think, especially when it has when it comes to mucus drainage or energy or even um, it also includes bivac and burdock root. So if you know, do you know? Let me know down below how they work out for you. And if you're interested in the Nama J2 juicer or any of the attachments, it does have an attachment for the sorbet. I hadn't ordered it yet because we're getting into fall and winter. I wasn't sure if I wanted it or not, like around this time of year. But I think I'm going to go ahead and order it so we can make us some sorbets and like little ice cream bowls. They're not ice cream, but you know what I mean? Like little sorbet bowls or whatever. So I'll be interested in it. I've been making a lot of nut milk in here and juicing daily. It's easy for the kids to use as well. It's super easy to clean and put right back together. So I do, I like the convenience of it, but more than anything, I like the extra 40% yield of juice that it gives me no matter what I'm juicing, like so much more juice and the pulp is so much more drier than 
any juice or whatever you use. So yeah, that's it. I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Uh, I know y'all keep asking me about this shirt. My hustle comes from being a mother. It's also linked down below in a SD store from where I purchased mine. If you're interested and I'll see you on the next video. Peace and blessings.